Friends, we have a bit of a problem. Yeah. You might remember when we last left off, I was around 80-something uh, kilos. I'm currently 91 kilos, but it's dropping. It's dropping. Oh, yeah. I don't know how, because uh, if we look at our health and the burpees thing, I've been working out for the past, I don't know, just take a look and see how many days it's been. I do not know how. Apparently exercise does not equate into your, uh, your weight gain, but I read online that if you jump over uh, or in and out of windows, it can uh, decrease it or something. Also, you have to be careful about the amount of calories you have here. So uh, eating things like fresh food instead of like chocolate or stuff like that that I've been eating uh, would explain a lot. So, for example, if we wanted to have chili, that'd be 260 calories. And we need to have, um, I think, under 200 to 2,200 a day for us to, like, stay and maintain weight. But we need less than that to go under. So if we were to take evaporated milk, that's a fourth of it, right? Um, the cereal, eating a whole box, meets our daily limit. How many times have you guys seen me eat a whole box? Chips, 500 calories, a fourth. We have jelly beans and stuff, which don't actually seem to have a uh, calorie thing, but I guess that's just because they're not packaged, right? If they were packaged, they'd show it on there. The, the mac and cheese that we've been scoffing down is 690. But it looks like anything with packaging, it'll tell me how much it is. So, uh, as you can see by our skills, I've been leveling up cooking a little bit here by cooking proper food, trying to lose weight, but it has not been going well. Um, I also leveled up, as you can see here, another level of carpentry by doing some stuff. Uh, leveled up a little bit of electrical and metalworking. Just by going around doing stuff, I'll, I'll show y'all what I did exactly as we're doing stuff. But yeah, I built this little wall here to attempt to lose some weight, but sadly it's, it's not helping very much. Um, also, I boarded up the broken windows because while exercising, I had taken off basically all my clothes except for the, the pants and a uh, tank top. And if we come into the bedroom, you might notice that there was a broken window here. And since it's getting colder out, um, we caught a cold. So I was messing around with having a cold and some injured feet and that injured arm or whatever that I had before. And uh, yeah, we kind of had to fix that problem. So I went around, knocked some stuff down, built up. Uh, some seals here. So now our, our, our base is completely sealed in here. We don't have to worry about uh, the things nomming our feet, right? Make sure I have everything here transcribed. Okay, perfect. Also, uh, you might notice we have more books down here. I went down to the library uh, while we were repairing the, uh, the walls and stuff, and I grabbed a bunch of books. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of what I've been up to up here, also, you might notice another propane tank right here, and that's because I grabbed one from, there was a uh, another place somewhere, uh, a grill outside here, I should say, that we had grabbed. All right, anyway, with all that in mind, today, we were going to try and clear out some more of the uh, hospital area. That was the plan, the goal here. Also, I want to take like half of this. I want to put half of it in the fridge. I want to take like five. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's going to weigh me down. That's fine. I'll just have it. Uh, I'll eat it as we go. Anyway, let's go ahead and fill our water bottle up. Drink some there. 
And uh, by the way, I just want to point out all that first aid experience, right? Uh, 300. I think before we were at 50 something. So that 300 is just for me changing bandages. And speaking of, I added a new mod. Because uh, I think the whole having to click to take off the bandage, click to put it back on. Now, if we were to right click, we can say replace bandage and replace. And that'll just swap the bandages without causing a bunch of blood spew on the floor here. But yeah, all right, moving on out. Let's head on downstairs and I'll show you what I've done down here. Because I have done a, a little bit. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go ahead and uh, equip the shotgun. Well, no, we're not in like an area that has a huge horde area yet, so. All right, so if we come into this apartment, you'll notice there's no fridge. I began to remove them, along with turning off all the lights and other garbage that is around here. So let's go down. I'll also remove the trash can and stuff that was there. You might notice this place is lit up. Yes. I took one of the generators that was in the storage area, some of the gas, and I put it on. I put it outside here. I also made this fence for if zombies get in, I can bash their brains in here. Just another little line of defense. We also finished up this outer wall, so now we have that so we can look out and see. And I, I moved the cars back. Those junk cars are out of the street now. And uh, is that a fucking car key right there? It is. I moved the other ones away, attached the trailer to the van and, and all that. Put doors in here. You can notice the, uh, the level three uh, walls and then the level two walls there. Kind of funny. I'm just gonna go collect this key real quick. What is this stuff? All right, stuff I threw out of a glove compartment somewhere. A Masterson Horizon key. Which one of you is a Masterson Horizon? White one? Yes, it is. Although, it seems as though I can't get into it. Why can't I get into you, huh? The door doesn't seem jammed or anything. Incidentally, I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall this battery and the radio here. Then we'll go ahead and reinstall them. Just to give us a little bit of mechanical experience, right? go. Oh. We got two experience for that. Let's hear for the two experience we got. Alright, I'm gonna eat half of this one cabbage here. Can I, like, break this window? No. I don't understand why I can't get in. Maybe the door is not just... No? The door was in fine condition, so I don't know what the hell's going on there. But as you can see, our, our fitness and strength are going up at fast rates because we uh, have regularity in burpees, so that's, that's great. All right, let's go ahead and equip this shotgun. Time to get down to business. And our business is killing zombies. Oh yeah, the generator. I was going to show you guys where the generator's at. Sorry, hold on. Also, I had to turn off all of these lights that were around here. All the porch lights and all the apartment lights for like two floors up. You know, here's the generator. As you can see, if we go ahead and go generator info, it's gonna last for about a month on 60% fuel. So, very nice. It's only powering basically the lights that are inside the lobby area. So I wanted that so I can actually see a little bit better when it's nighttime, because otherwise I just get completely screwed up there. All right. Here, zombie, zombie, zombie. Any of y'all around here? I do remember we like had a huge group following us at one point. Hmm. Can't get into that car, huh? Get to the trunk. Wait, what? What the hell? I just... I don't know what I pressed, but it like wanted me to walk around. I'm gonna grab the first aid kit. There. Why not? It has some suture needles in it. 
Alright. Where was the last time I saw that huge horde of zombies? Was it, uh... Was it down here? Or... Where? Well, there's some. Can I shoot through the fence? Let me get as close as possible and then... Looks like the answer is yes. That'll also draw them to me, which is nice. I'm gonna hop the fence real quick, so we uh, put them out here. Only three zombies here, though. Over the fourth one. Nice when they're drawn to the sound. Makes them easier to deal with. Come on, boys. There we go. There's a third and a fourth. Oh, there's more. Hell yeah, brother. Let's go. Oops. How's it going, Doc? You got any old friends in here that want to, uh, up. Come on out. No. Get off me. You got any uh, drugs or anything on here that might be interesting to have? Nope. Oh. Okay. Back to the shotgun. Maybe I managed to get rid of all the zombies by lure them to a different part of the town last time. Oh, there's a couple of zombies right there. Now, while we lure them out here, let's go ahead and reload for a minute. I'm gonna try and get them clustered up, you know. There's some better to. I feel like shooting the shotgun should lure more out than yelling, so... Oop. Didn't get to cock it that time. Get closer, and then... Oh, I missed that one. That sucks. Oh, but yeah, I also uh, installed a couple of other mods. Uh, specifically, I installed a couple that reduce the weight of, of things, like gas weighs a little less now, um, metal items, like metal sheets weigh less now, metal pipes, that kind of stuff. Stuff that's used for like building materials and stuff like that, just because plugging them around like a couple at a time without being overweight kind of sucks. You know, I was expecting a lot more resistance here. I mean, last time didn't we have like a bunch of zombies roaming around out here? What happened to them all? Like, I know I've been killing them, but we did kill a, a bunch before we uh, figured out that the respawn thing wasn't set up properly. How is our weight? Still going down. Perfect. It'd be cool if we could find, like, a, an ambulance. Then we would have sirens that we could use. And the sirens could... Give us some uh, zombie luring. Since those are loud. Pretty nice. See, the gas can weighs 0 0.5 now. I'm not seeing any zombies. Ha. Huh. Well, let's go into here then. Emergency entrance. I'm just going to try to be as loud as possible. See if I can lure them out. Alright, we made zombies deafer, didn't we? 
was tired of them like coming in from random areas and just touching my butt. Well, maybe I just go in with a bat then. There was one more over that direction. Hmm. All right. Let's just start clearing room by room then. Storage area, out of the reception for general public and stuff. What am I? Oh, there's a garbage can in the middle of the area that I'm just stuck on, apparently. Some sort of x ray area, it looks like. Another one. Again, why is the garbage can in the middle of the freaking. Oh my god, please go around this. This hallway. Is it. Is this literally just a dead end? Ain't no way. What? That is terrifying. Why would they do that? I suppose there's any zombies in there. Alright. Let's sit down. Wait a little bit here. Let's go to like 11.20. Okay. Go ahead and eat a half of a lettuce here. Keep our stuff up. I suppose we could do a smoke too, but for right now we'll just pass on that. Alright, is this another like lobby area? It looks like it. Like a cafeteria, then a way up to the second floor here. Hmm. I think our uh, day of clearing zombies from the hospital isn't actually going to do much. I think we're just going to end up roaming around and seeing that every zombie has already been taken care of. Oh, there's one. Let's finish our smoke and then we'll kick his butt. All right. Hey there, big timer. How you doing? Got anything on you, sir? Nope, I also want to turn that off. Oh, I added a presence. I'll take them. Why not? Uh, nothing else we care about. Everything in the kitchen is just garbage. So we don't have to worry about that. More stairs going up. There. Let's just clear the first floor first. Where did that guy even come from? You've already been in the kitchen or the cafeteria. Yeah? He must have came around this corner or something? Unless he was like following us the entire time or some shit. Like that. Okay, where did she come from? I would have been down here, yeah? It's just like an empty room. How weird. Hey! Oh. Oh, come on. Check the back real quick. Yep. Check the back. That's good. Hey, zombie. You want to die with your friends? Yep. Oh, screw it. I'm just going to start yelling. I'd rather have a bunch of zombies to deal with, and I can just equip the shotgun after running away from them a little bit. Leads back out there, huh? Uh. 
Are these just windows or yeah, those are just windows? Fuck, oh, we got another friend here. Hello, friend. Alright. Oh, what a posh little doctor's office. Posh the right word there? I don't know. It's a fancy thing. Over here, a zombie smashing something. There they are. Hey there. Sorry, doctor, you gotta die. Offices, huh? Okay. <clears throat> Conference room, okay. Kind of a billing room or something. Like a clerical room or something. Bathroom. Bathroom, gotcha. Special, yeah, that's gotta be like the director's room or something, since you have like a receptionist. And stuff like that. Okay, go through the window, I don't care. Works for me! Yeah, I'm not sure where he came from. I guess let's head to the second floor. Probably rest though, so maybe we go I'll find a nice little place that we can secure. We're not even secure, maybe if we just sit here in the corner. We can just sit on the ground, zoom out, and then speed up time a bit. Right, 1420, I think that's good enough. Let's head on upstairs and give it a look. There's a third story too here, okay. Start here with the bathrooms. I hate these bathrooms where they're like, oh, we're gonna put a wall there blocking everything to make it weird. I don't know. I hate them because you never know what could be around the corner. Let's take a quick drink since we're relatively safe here. Yep. Of course, we're carrying a little bit too much now. How hungry are we? I wish we had a... I wish we were hungry at the moment, because there's more stairs over there. Alright, let's just search this room then. All, I guess. I don't know. If I just go through here screaming, do you think I'm gonna find a couple of zombies hanging out still? Is that smashing sound a zombie or is that the game music? Oh. Lockers. There's probably a shower room. Like I said, I hate these. I'm not even going to look down the other side. Here too. Bathroom, okay. This must be the uh, emergency room area. There's a waiting area up here too. Hospital has too many doors, I think. I don't think we're gonna wanna actually live here. Now that I'm looking at it, 
We will fortify it and add it as part of our empire, though. But, uh... I think just... Moving in here... There's just too much, right? I'm just yelling to see if I can get them to knock on the door so I can see if there's zombies inside them. Where do you suppose the hospital keeps all of its drugs and stuff? Like a cleaning area, not a drug area. We have empty buckets, though. Those could be used for uh, carrying water if we needed to. Oh, do you suppose I can sleep in one of the uh, beds? quality. What about the gurney here? Average quality. I'm gonna find a proper hospital bed instead of these things. What, no soap or anything in here? Psh, come on. There's soap right there. Ooh, there we go. That's some stuff. as well. No one else is using it. Bottle of disinfectant. Hell yeah. Painkiller. I wonder if I need scalpels for anything. I'm gonna say no, but if we do, we can end up coming back, right? Why do they have ice cream in here? How bizarre. Yeah, I might as well start grabbing medical supplies as we see them. Take some, uh, not antidepressants. Do I have any, uh, what, what, what is it? I, like, ignores sleep. I remember. Hey, we got butter in there. Cool. Anything in these drawers? Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, hey! Doctor and a patient, huh? Didn't even see the doctor there for a second. Is that zombie still alive? You have to have like 0 0.1 health left or something, right? Oh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and just sleep on this thing then. Even if it is average, screw it. Eat half of the cabbage. Oh, it's dark now because it's nighttime and it is. More medical supplies, please. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take those. Screw the, the tweezers. They don't have a durability on them, so I don't need them. Let's go to the third floor. Is it actually a third floor or is it roof access? It's actually a third floor, okay. Tape, crossword. I think I want to find anything useful here other than that glue. All right, yeah, nothing here trips my fancy. Scale. If I go on the scale, does it do anything? No. I can't be like, read weight. Fine. 
Get another one. Small little exam rooms, it looks like. Another doctor office. Have anything in the bookshelf here? Ooh, a surgeon degree. I could become a fake surgeon. Urban. Molotovs. I'm gonna assume lipstick in here. If anything else, uh, if, if nothing else, I mean, uh, I'll go down to the uh, pharmacy that was on the first floor. And I can grab up up there. Oh no, those are our doors, huh? Okay. Duct tape. It's way too dark in here. I do not like it. It's just asking for me to get snuck up behind. Is this another... Oh, this is roof access. Okay. I kind of want to just wait for a couple of hours. So it's daylight, almost. There's no one on this roof, so I'm safe here if I just look towards the door and just fast forward time and just take a take a rest, right? We can even have ourselves a little smoke. Go ahead and eat a part of the lettuce there. Hey, we're down to 90 pounds. Hell yeah, brother. Okay. It is getting to be daylight out, so I feel more comfortable going inside. Just waited outside for like a few hours. Pretty funny. Get this area here. Hmm. Where's, huh? Alright, makes sense since it's near that little kitchen area. Just a railing that overlooks the next area. Okay. Wait, or is this like outside? Surely not. How does that work? The good news is I don't see any more stairs up. How was that a jump scare? I was looking right at him. Let's go knock out the zombies that are not behind closed doors. Are there any drugs in these rooms? Probably just personal patient effects. Huh? Yeah, you wouldn't want the patients to be around the drugs. You can just take them and... There's another floor. Kind of a odd little room up here. Just cleaning liquid up here, huh? Check the roof. Why would this door be open? I guess maybe zombies jumping off from up here. This is a huge roof, though. God dang. Okay. All right. Well, I don't really care too much about clearing this entire area since there aren't a bunch of zombies anymore. So let's just head down to the first floor again. And. Head over to the rug area. At least I think it's a drug area. Or was it again? Was it up or down? Well, it's not here. That's for sure. Check the security office. Hey there! You wanna die from a friend? There you go. Oh, you got a key. Thank you. Not that I think anything's here locked, but. Here's where I wanted to go. Well, there's that area, and then I think there's one more. Well, ooh, we got some toys and stuff. Fancy. Look what else we have in this area. It's probably just for, like, kids. 
There's an annotated map here. You know what, I'm just gonna take the map. I'm not gonna read it right now. We can uh, look at it in a moment. When we're in a, a little bit of a safer place. What do we have here? Toys, toys, toys. Just more toys. And are these also toys? Oh, these are wristwatches. Ooh. Mm. I'm sorry, that's a gold wristwatch. It's not digital though, so honestly, I don't care. Okay. Let's go into the other one here. I would assume this is a drugstore of some sort if I had to make a guess. I don't think there would be like a, a grocery store inside of a um, hospital, right? Oh yeah, here we go. Here's the good shit. Don't care about that stuff. Oop. Just want the drugs, friends. Just want the drugs. Vitamin. One that I miss here. Probably the end cap of this one. Whatever. Alright. What else we got here? Uh, chips, gummy bears, yada yada. I don't care about that stuff. We have plenty of that at home. And we can grow our own food, so... Whatever. This band-aid. Perfect. The more medical supplies we get, the better. Because we can't make our own bandages, I understand. Or our own drugs, for that matter. We have to keep looting. We can make ripped sheets, but those aren't very efficient, I don't think. Ah, perfect. Loading up on drugs. We're going to have a lot of vitamins at the end of this. It'd be nice if it was like weight loss drugs or something. Oh, is that our backpack full? It is. All right. Into the normal inventory you go then. You know what? Let's go ahead and uh, equip the shotgun. It'll reduce my, my weight since it's heavier. Mm, on one. Yo. Like, imagine how much stuff I have to have in my backpack. Like, how many medical supplies for it to be full. Like, look at this. Full medical supplies. All right. That's all the medical supplies I see here. Uh, let's check. That was the dean's office or whatever. Presses, yada, yada. All right, let's just check. Once we're heading this way anyway, if there's anything else. I think there was another uh, counter area around here that had uh, drug looking areas behind it, like near the reception area. This is the morgue. I don't want to be here. Over here is where I want to be. <clears throat> Yeah, this supply closet here. Oh, ho, ho. more things for me. I said more things for me. Come on. Oh, right. Like the wrong thing there. There we go. Ah, now I'm overweight. Shit. Okay, hold on. Let's read this map. Is it for Louisville? It's not. Map. Get out of here. Um, let's go ahead and eat. Half the cabbage. What else am I carrying? That's like garbage that I do not need. Hmm. First of all, let's go ahead and put some of this stuff back onto the shelf. So I'm not taking health damage. There we go. Also, let's get between these two shelves because I'd rather not get snuck up on by a zombie. Okay. Let's check our backpack. What do we have that we do not need? 
This first aid kit probably uh, is weighing a lot. Let's remove that. That reduced one some pounds there. Um, we do not need tweezers. I do not need all these suture needle holders. I think everything else I want to keep for right now. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to put stuff currently in my inventory into backpack. Okay, now the backpack should be full for the most part. Go ahead and put anything else that'll fit in there, though. Why am I wet? Am I sweating or something? Again, anything that'll fit in there? Nothing? All right, then. That out. Perfect. Suture needle, bandages. More painkillers and stuff. Okay. Okay. Let's leave. We'll make a trip back here to this area and grab the rest of the drugs that are here. We have a shotgun, so I'm not too worried about getting, like, hoarded right now. Because we can just shoot him a couple of times, run back, shoot him a couple of times. Or even, you know, drop our baseball bat or something if we need to. Even the shotgun, we could just drop the shotgun. Alrighty. Slowly but surely making our way back to home. I also left these lights out here on, so those ones are on. You can see if we right click, we can turn off, but I don't want to. All right, I'm gonna get home. Baby. I can probably leave most of the shotgun shells here when we go back to the hospital, since it does not seem like we are going to be engaging with a bunch of zombies and if we do find a horde of zombies we can try to thin their numbers and then anything we don't have um ammo for we can just run away if we do encounter that shouldn't be a problem yeah i think i like our uh, our fortified tower here so i'll kind of show you guys the new game plan after I dump some stuff off here to lighten our load. All right, check the backpack first, because that'll be just a simple boop, boop, pop. I think I have plenty of alcohol wipes now. Jeez Louise. We'll look at our final haul once we, uh, collect everything. Alright. I guess not our final haul, because we won't know, because we added stuff that we uh, had already, but it'll, it'll tell us something, right? Okay. Um, first of all, these... I'm gonna store this in here, and I wanna take half of the shotgun shells I got, maybe. Then we'll come down to our liquor cabinet here, and I'm gonna go ahead and store our bourbon right there. Not gonna worry about making Molotovs at this particular moment in time. Go ahead and smoke a victory cigarette. A victory, but we didn't really do anything. We just, uh, you know, ended up up there. Right, I'm gonna put these two uh, cabbages back in the fridge because they might be going stale soon and I don't want that. And then of course let's uh let's continue doing our burpees. Okay. Just that much. I just wanted to at least get a few in just to keep up regularity. Mm. Alright, hopefully we wake up before it becomes night. Alex, a little uh, downtrodden there for some reason. 
whatever. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, transcribe. I know we didn't really gain any uh, new skills, right? But I'd like to at least transcribe the experience we did gain. So a little bit of aiming and reloading and stuff like that. Okay. So everything's out of our backpack and everything, right? Yes. Okay. So I think looking at this, we know that we have a fence pretty much around this area, right? And even kind of a fence around here, right? So what we could do is create a like fence just all the way around this whole complex, except for part of the gas station, right? We can leave the gas station kind of excluded from it. And then we can uh, kind of fence around over here a little bit and make a, like an, uh, an over the, the road kind of bridge. So we can just cross over, get to the medical station where it's all included and safe, right? We can kind of do that. That way, if we ever need to go back, uh, when the loot respawns, we can do so. That'll kind of be the, the, the game plan, I guess, rather than securing the whole hospital like a weirdo. Oh, hold on. We're gonna need a couple of cabbages. I think I'll just take two. Um, no point in carrying a bunch with me, right? Okay. Let's take a look at our self. Well, we're still losing weight, which is, thank God, because I don't know how much 90 kilos is in pounds, but uh, it's probably a lot considering we are overweight. Which is not good when you're trying to survive a zombie apocalypse, because it makes you more exhausted. As we have seen, because we have gotten exhausted just by running a little little short distance, right? Okay. Pick up the rest of those medical supplies. Then we'll uh, head back home. Shouldn't be too much to contend with here. But you never know. down here, yeah? Then we need to... Yep, I did not want to do that. That's bad. Okay, so in here, over here, onto the medical shelves. Alright. Painkillers, 16 of them. I guess I could just grab this stuff just to have it now that I actually have weight. But I have weight to spare, I mean. Four of these shelves. Let's move down to these ones now. Let's start down here. I'll take everything. I can turn the scalpels into spears too. I can put them on the end of a thing here. A medical corset. I don't know why I would need that. And then the last one over here. Yep, just more of the same. Okay. We didn't get too many more drugs from that. Um, perception desk. Okay. I think that's everything we're going to find without going room to room and searching and everything. That's like the bulk of medical supply areas anyway. Excellent. And home before a set. So yeah, I think we can... I put a blockade across there to prevent zombies from entering in through there. And it's just a matter of looking at where else we can put stuff at, right? Let me check the gas in the van here. We are basically full. Okay, we can stop by the gas station with it and fill it up. All right. Looks like we're a little hungry. Go ahead and eat a half of a cabbage. We should also check our crops on the roof. The tomatoes and uh, radishes may have grown.
I also read that sprinting can also uh, help you lose weight. But oddly enough, exercise doesn't. Which is just really weird. You notice how we just ran there and back and we're already exhausted? Yeah, that's what happens with overweight. Okay. Excellent, we're almost filled here. All right, so looking at all the medical supplies that we have gained, we've gained, or we have 18 adhesive bandages, 38 adhesive or alcohol wipes, six antibiotics, 10 antidepressants, 26 bandages, of which we're gonna take uh, four. We have eight beta blockers, seven bottles of disinfectant, one cologne, nine cotton balls, one dirty rag, which I don't know why it's in there, uh, 43 painkillers, so crazy amount, 21 sleeping tablets, 2 soap, uh, 17 suture needles, uh, 17 suture needle holders, 12 tweezers, and 21 vitamins. Nice. Okay. Let's move this stuff over to here. Put things out of the backpack, and I just can come over to this thing and... We can put the stuff in here. Or into the first one, because where the secondary storage is at. Alright. Excellent. Man, it, it's it's crazy how I'm carrying 13 pounds of weight just because I'm carrying a shotgun and a baseball bat, right? And the shells. Something just it feels wrong that I'm carrying this much weight. Every little thing adds up, I guess. Okay. Well, we're about at that time. So I think we'll wrap things up and I'll just finish by telling you my little plan here for the next time. The next time, open up our map. We have this forest down here, right? So I think what we'll do is we'll grab an ax, a saw, and our rope. We'll head down here, cut a bunch of trees, load up the van with as much as we can, and then we'll start uh, the fortification plan for the hospital to keep zombies out, basically. Um, and then we can also start fortifying the, the gas station a bit to make it so that there's not so many entrances. Uh, I'd like one entrance, uh, at least. Or I guess, yeah, just one entrance. That way, it's kind of limiting who can get in and out. Um, but we need to have vehicles get into it, obviously, so it has to be fairly wide. Um, I guess we could use a, one of those huge gates, since I know that they're big now. Um, we could do that near the gas station. I guess we'd have a couple of those, but yeah. Also, I think I learned something. Uh, I was watching a video about accessibility settings, and it says, resume normal speed when timed actions are complete. That check. So, I think what that will do is um, make it so that we can, when, like when we're speeding up time when we're disassembling something, it'll stop after it finishes disassembling, right? Yeah. That should be good. And then uh, I also checked leave key and ignition because I want to, you know, have the... Uh, key left in the car ignitions. I don't want to take them with me because that's just having all of the keys on one guy who's going to die and, and have them there. But yeah, so our plan for next time, everyone, we're going to get in the van with our axe, our saw, uh, our, our tools that we need. We're going to go down to the foresty area and we're going to start just chopping trees down. And then we'll start with the gas station and, and fortify it uh, since we'll be using the, the van and it's close by. And then after that, we can start fortifying the rest of this whole block here. And then once we get that done, we can do a little bit more fortification to the, um, the front of the base, probably just like a little U-shape on the front of it there uh, to keep more zombies out. And uh, then we can do a bridge going over from here over to here, right? And then that way we can just easily walk over and across. We don't have to worry about zombies uh, being around there, right? So the plan 
Until then, bye for now.